Hermann Beckele says that he has always been passionate about problem solving. That curiosity has earned the Ethiopian-born American teen the grand prize and $25,000 in cash in this year's 3M Young Scientist Challenge, a competition for U.S. students enrolled in 5th through 8th grade. Hermann entered a bar soap that could fight a type of cancer known as melanoma. Yeah, I've always been really passionate about just finding solutions that aren't just really great from a science perspective, but are also accessible to as many people as possible. And for a disease like skin cancer, where cures already exist in the field, the only issue is that those cures aren't accessible to everyone. Hemon soap is still being tested for its effectiveness, but it works by activating special cells called dendritic cells that help the body fight skin cancer. Well, I tried to come up with a solution that was not only great from a science perspective that could work, but then at the same time was also affordable and accessible. Hemon's parents say that they didn't realize how important his project was until their son was shortlisted among the top 10 competitors. His father, Wendwas and Bekgala, says they couldn't contain their excitement. When he, like, become like a top 10, I was really, uh, I mean, we were so satisfied. And then when he become like the first, the top uh, like, we were so, so overwhelmed with his accomplishments, so we're still so happy for him. His mother, Mulumabit Kitacho, says he has always been curious as a child. Hammond likes to create. Since he was a child, he used to like to research things. He used to prefer playing with things he created instead of toys. He was social. He liked to play. He liked to talk and play with other people. He likes to read, but he also listens. He is a good listener. Herman says his skin cancer treating soap must still get an approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. When that happens, he hopes it can be made accessible to people in underserved and low-income communities. Of course, there's a lot of work still left to get to that goal, but I... I hope that, like I was saying, by 2028, it'll turn into a nonprofit, and we'll have to see from there where it ends up. The World Health Organization's cancer agency estimates that nearly 325,000 new cases of melanoma were diagnosed worldwide in 2020. Hemant says all he wants to do is make people's lives a bit easier. For Ed and Geramo in Fairfax County, Virginia, Salem Solomon, VOA News.